The self is one alone. It is with no difference. It is only by misidentifying with the mind that one can think of a multiplicity of selves, internally, so to speak, and with misidentification with the body, that one can think of multiplicity of selves externally, so to speak. The internal and the external being determined again from the I am the body misidentification. But you are not the body, and you are not the mind. Unperceived, unconceived. The nature of the self is unalloyed, undifferentiated existence. One without anything other or different whatsoever. It is beginningless and eternal. It is limitless and thus truly infinite. Inconceivable It is immeasurable. This, the perpetual, non-dual existence, is Brahman. And this Brahman is yourself. One should seek to realize the self for the sake of final peace and immortal bliss and complete liberation from all of the imagined bondage and its consequent suffering. What is the nature of the realization that is to be sought? The nature of self-realization must necessarily be identical with the self that is to be realized. So then, just as the self is not an event with a beginning and an end, likewise self-realization is not an event. If it had a beginning, it would have an end. And as the Maharshi has instructed, what is not eternal is not worth seeking. So what is this self-realization? It is not an experience that comes to one as if you were an individual being who will experience another kind of self. For the individuality is just the primal misidentification, the I notion or I thought as it is referred to. And your existence is not an experience, something that comes and goes. If it is not an event, not an experience, then similarly it is not a state of mind. Indeed, it is not anything transitory, not anything that appears or disappears. Self-realization is said to be complete peace, the perfect fullness of bliss, and indeed this is so. 
sages, scriptures, declare that one ought to seek self-realization. That that itself is the purpose of life. And indeed it is so. Yet what is the realization itself? When ignorance is destroyed, that is, when misidentification is eliminated, that which remains is it. But that which remains did not just begin. And being unborn or beginningless, it is deathless and endless. Self-realization is declared to be hopmistiti, abidance as the self. Now there are not two selves that one would abide as another. So what is meant? Your being, your existence, as it truly ever is, unchanging, forever unmodified, is itself the very substance of realization. Abidance says the self is known as self-knowledge. It is not a kind of knowledge like a thought that comes and goes. nor is it the possession of anyone, as if an individual would become realized, rather than the realization that there's no individual. The knowledge is of an imperceptible, inconceivable nature. In self-knowledge, being is knowing, just as existence is consciousness. So then, if you earnestly desire self-realization, inquire within yourself as to who realizes Who are you? If you are not the body, inclusive of the senses, as well as the prana, if you are not the mind in any of its permutations, if you are not contained within such, And if you are not the ego, the notion of existing as an individual entity, what remains? What are you? The self is itself the knowledge. The self is itself the realization. It neither comes nor goes, as you do not come or go, for your existence is always. Sri Bhagavan declared that the egoless state is the only real state that there is. That state is self-realization. It is innate. The self that is Brahman is the only real self that there is. An unrealized state would belong to an unrealized being. Is there such a one?
If presently you have the doubt, but I am not realized, if that is the idea in your mind, inquire as to who it is that is supposedly not realized. There's only one self. It is the one reality. To imagine yourself as an individual or a mind that is in another state is purely illusory. Imagination. And when the conjurer of imagination is sought, such a one is nowhere to be found. What remains is absolute existence, consciousness, bliss, Satchitananda. That which remains is now also and forever.